This is how the Oxygon device is supposed to work. This is a hollow wheel filled with water. These are water-filled protrusions that can move in or out of the wheel. This side of the wheel is heavier because these water-filled protrusions stick out. So the wheel rotates downward on this side and upward on this side. When a protrusion reaches the bottom, it is forced upward by this rim. While that is happening, another protrusion on the top pops out. The water in the wheel just trades places back and forth. In this way, the wheel will rotate endlessly. At least that's the idea. In reality, this wheel would never work. Here is why. Let's say each protrusion holds the equivalent of one cubic foot of water. That would be 62 pounds of protrusion. There are five protrusions fully open and off-center. So that would be five times 62 pounds for 310 pounds of force pulling down on the wheel on this side, causing it to rotate downward. Now on this scale, the diameter of the wheel would be six feet. So that would be six times 62 for 372 pounds of force pressing down on the bottom here. So there is 372 pounds of force pressing down here, while there is only 310 pounds of force trying to rotate the wheel. The result is, is that there's not enough force to push this protrusion past the rim, so the wheel would never rotate. This device has more problems. This rim is a very bad idea. It is supposed to hold the protrusions in as the wheel rotates. But the problem with that is that this protrusion is pushing down against the rim with 372 pounds of force. And this protrusion is pressing down with 372 pounds of force. These two protrusions alone would have a total of 744 pounds of force. That would cause an enormous amount of friction and the wheel would never turn. Another problem is how the protrusions would work in real life. In order to make these watertight, they would have to have very tight fitting seals at the base. Such tight fitting seals would have a lot of friction making the protrusions even more difficult to close at the bottom point. For all these reasons, this device would never work as a water perpetual motion machine.